defense that really got things going with two touchdowns. But how proud are you of your defense for stepping up late and getting that stop and turnover? Well, I, honestly, I thought we were going to pitch our first shutout, you know, for some time there. Um, but they gave up the touchdown. We were driving back down to, uh, I, I felt like it was a touchdown. Had we scored the touchdown, it would have put the game out of reach. But we had the fumble. And then we gave up a quick touchdown. I'm like, oh, OK. <laughs> this is this is now a game. Now we got to find out who we are. Um, they, they were able to do some things in the boot game, you know, in the flat, hitting the tight end, the flat, the screen on us, hit a couple runs, and uh, they were finding success and finding a great deal of momentum. And they had to grow up. I, I kept saying, hey, have a positive response, you know, even in the midst of the chaos. There was a point in time, maybe two years ago, where we would have folded and found a way to lose the game. Um, but we kept saying, hey, just stay positive, stay together. And a lot of it came down to, uh, the guys really believing in each other and love, loving each other. You know, I think that's the one thing that they're fighting for one another. And that's the one thing I heard on the sideline is that, hey, we were good. We will find a way to get it done. They did. Coach, uh, the last couple games, the first two games, of course, uh, you've been rotating quarterbacks. And in this game, it seems like Damian O'Brien's kind of taking a step forward. Yeah. Um, now, is the quarterback rotation going to continue or is Damian kind of submitted in some way? I think he's he separated himself tonight. Um, you know, I think you when you I hate to rotate quarterbacks. I, I really do because it's tough for them to get into any type of rhythm. Um, that's not a knock on Draymond. You know, I think he has to get more reps. He has to get more time. Um, you know, when 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 stretch if I'm stretch. Uh, when he led us down a 99-yard drive, he had confidence in what he was we doing. He was seeing the game finally. You know, like he said, he was taking what the defense was giving him. He wasn't gun shy. He wasn't patting the ball. You know, he, he, he trusted, you know, his keys and he, he believed in those keys and he just kept striking and with confidence. So uh, moving forward, you know, we're going to continue to go with the hot hand until until otherwise. So that's what we're going to do and. Um, I think you know having Draymond there uh, certainly is a big plus for us. Um, we will at some point in time have to find a way to utilize Draymond because he's a talent that you know you just can't sit back there. So you know it's a good problem to have. Uh, he's, he's great competition in the room, um, and uh, we just have to keep getting better moving forward. Coach, you talked about having a shutout in three quarters, and they were able to put a couple drives yeah. together on you. Was there anything that they did differently, or what, what do you think led to that? They executed. I mean, there was a couple times where um, our eyes got bad on the defensive side. Uh, we missed a couple opportunities, especially when they bring the tight end out the backside of the boot, hit him in the flat, missed a tackle, breaking off big runs. Uh, you know, number 32, uh, I was very, very impressed with him. I watched him all last week and how sudden he was against Tulsa and how quick he was making guys miss, how hard he ran. I knew at some point he was going to be a problem for us, and he was. <coughs> So they were able to hit us on the screens and some runs, um, and their quarterback made some plays. And, uh, you know, our defense, you know, that's the strength of our team. And they've been in those situations before. And I, I just really felt that at some point they were going to find a way to make a stop. And they made it happen. And, you know, we were able to block a field goal at the end. Yeah, you get your first other Heritage Classic win as a coach at TSU. How much of a momentum do you speak for the program that has you guys had this time? You know, that, that's that's a great question, man. Um, we have won one game prior to tonight in September since I've been here. And, you know, that that means a lot. When you can jump out and find a way to win, um, going into conference play, playing these types of games, uh, winning this, uh, this trophy and being down here at Memphis, um, it, it means a lot in terms of momentum. Now we have to learn from it and grow from it. By, by no means are we satisfied with, you know, uh, how we play, we're, we're happy we won. But in order for us to us to get better and to compete at a higher level, our goal is, is to win a national championship. And that effort out there tonight, especially in the fourth quarter, with the exception of finding a way to win, uh, letting a team back in it, that's not going to do it. So we've got to we have to develop more tenacity and a killer instinct in times like that. Well, we uh, all of our all of our um, our coaching staff was out at various games. Um, there's a couple kids that we're looking at on um, both sides. Uh,
that, that are on a high on our board. Um, so I was uh, made a point to go out and see it up close and personal. You know, what you see on tape with highlights and, and huddles, you, you can't take it for, for you know what it is. You got to go and see and feel and, and see what kids are doing in, in real time, how they handle adversity, you know, how they communicate, their body language, all of that from play to play. You know, so um, it was good to see get under, under the lights and, and see these kids in action. Yeah, that um, you talked earlier this week about kind of the importance of recruiting this area and, yeah, and, and, absolutely. and the emphasis you put on it. Is that kind of a tradition that you make that every time, you know, these last at least three years um, during this week when you get a chance, you get up and try to catch some Yeah, games? yeah. Um, first year was just really getting, trying to get my arms wrapped around the, the, the whole uh, business of, of coaching. Um, we weren't, we didn't have a, 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 a an aggressive recruiting plan. Um, we tried to hit a couple schools here or there, but it was nothing that was um, really intentional. Well, this year, you know, um, we have Kevin Mayshack, uh, who came came back, who is our recruiting coordinator. He's done a phenomenal job of laying out a, a full plan in terms of how we're going to attack um, these areas and really utilize our time wisely while we're in town to go see high school kids. Uh, because this business is all about, you know, recruiting, you know, you can set up, you can create a culture, a lifestyle, you can do all these great things, but you got to find the talent. And Memphis has some rich talent uh, here in, in this area. We want to make sure that we were seen, we're known, we're being very intentional about recruiting, recruiting more kids in this area. We have seven kids in our roster from the Memphis area, but we want to continue to grow, grow that uh, the number. Yeah, you mentioned that you got kids on your roster from this area. Why is it important for you to continue to, to recruit this area? They got dudes here. <laughs> they got some dudes in this area, and um, they, they fall within a 250 mile radius for us, um, and they play some excellent football here. You know, I mean, this is where a lot of the great kids come out, and we want to we want to, we want to keep them here. We want to show them, hey, you can get to wherever you want to be uh, from Tennessee State University. We have a lot to offer. We're growing. You know, a lot's going to be changing in the next year or two um, from a um, athletic standpoint, from a, a campus-wide standpoint. You know, great city of Nashville, um, a strong alumni base here in Memphis, Tennessee, with uh, Tennessee State. We want to put our flag here and keep it there and keep our kids in state and have them come to Tennessee State, Nashville. Thank <laughs> you.